Hello everyone, this is Anway Joe. We're playing a Vorneon targeting science. This is Rift Shift building video number one. So we're gonna go ahead and start off. I was gonna say I did run another test for the Rift Shifts. I wanted to see if we could do a mission, say that uh, was 45 kilotons and then make a ship that was 45 kilotons and then dock another ship with to it that's 45 kilotons and if that would have made it pass it did not it cut them basically both in half so i was needed to build the rift ship of ideas because i was thinking well maybe each ship could be only 45 but it is a total overall weight and that makes sense so we are currently in the the building uh easy mode basically for the the rift ship right now because i still haven't got the campaign i have not been playing the game very much so the campaign isn't really ready either to um support the building but that's okay we'll get there so first off with the rift ship my goal is i'm going to try to think get it to a total of 45 kilotons and i want it underneath that and we're going to try to do missions that are early game in on the way Joan campaign. And the reason why I'm targeting those is so I can uh, get used to the rifts um, and not necessarily uh, blow up right away, for instance. Uh, we're going to have a combination of one ship and I think four stations. So that's going to be neat. So this is going to be a true multiple hauled ship. So let's get started. So the f uh, let's see, we're going to call this uh, wing, hmm, hangar wing. I think that's what I'm going to call this. Okay. So the first part we're going to start off with what I'm going to call is the hangar wing. So what is the hangar wing? So. I'm going to build basically this is going to be a one ship but five components. Three of those components are going to be basically like I said is a hangar wing. So I want to build sections of hangar that can hold 12 uh, fighters. And the reason why I want to use 12 fighters is because each station or ship by default at least allows you to deploy 12 fighters without necessarily have to use a subsystem slot so the goal is i want to make like a, a hangar bay that can hold 12 large fighters and i want to try to make it under five kilotons i don't know if that's going to be possible or not but that's my goal so I'm going to make three of these to attach to the main ship. So three of them, that's 15 kilotons of weight. And I'm going to try to build this ship aiming for 45. So it's a pretty significant amount of weight that I'm can, uh, wanting to put to these ones. But having three extra sets of, say, fighter bays going out and, you know, Two of these will probably be healers and one will be an attack. I think it's going to be worth it. Or maybe it won't, but that's the whole part of the f fun of uh, trying to find out. So first off, we're building this ship and we're basing it on weight. So we want to have 45 kilotons max weight is my goal. So I want to build it out of things that are lighter and cheaper as well as uh, functional so especially for these smaller parts I want them to be self sustaining obviously as well so first off let's see if we can even get even in the weight limit just with the hanger itself because I don't know uh, if I even can I'm just throwing out numbers I haven't actually looked into it too much so the least I could do is give it a shot so see, I want to make that the new root block. All right. So right there, that is one small fighter and it's 13 tons. So that's obviously not that big for sure. I'm gonna make it out of uh, tritium because again, 
there's no real bonus i believe for fighter bays uh other than maybe hp but i want to keep the weight down trinium is the lightest uh material that i found i could be wrong if i am let me know so i want to try to make it so i can support 12 large fighters now if I had a fighter station set up and I can make small fighters, it would be more beneficial to me to do it that way. So I can have, say, 12 small fighters. So I would use lose less weight. But right now, I don't have the, stature, the stations and the infrastructure in the Onaway Joe to basically uh, build my fighters like I normally do. So I'm just going to make it for basically large uh, fighters right now. So right now we're at two, so obviously we're going to have to make this quite a bit bigger, but we're only at 97 tons, so that's doesn't seem like that bad. We might be able to make this happen. So let's go four by four. Four by four, that's seven. All right, let's straighten it out a little bit. We're nine. We're up to... 281 tons so we haven't even passed a kiloton so actually this might be more economical for weight than I thought we're at 12 right there okay and we're at 393 tons so that's actually really uh, pretty good actually a lot better um, numbers than I was thinking so so far we're already kind of ahead of the game and this little weight will be deleted too oops didn't mean to do that let's delete that let's see if we can make it a little bit smaller that's eight okay uh we could go point one let's see go point five maybe that's eight still eight large nine nine okay so let's see did I shrink it that much after all ten or maybe because that little fighter was also there too that or by might have made some numbers eleven all right so there's twelve all right so let's see if we could go to 15.5 is 11 okay so 16 looks like it's a good number so it looks like a 4x4 four by, four by 16 long will give us wait didn't I just have it 16 no I guess not so 16.5 uh, okay 4x4 four by 16.5 four by will give us 12 large fighters all right and our current weight right now is 370 tons. So actually quite significantly lighter than I was expecting. Because again, I was going to try to contribute uh, basically like quite a few tons into it uh, being five kilo tons. For, so maybe we can keep it under one kiloton, which means that the other two parts the the primary the ship and then the shield one can be much bigger than far as weight goes uh so we're currently saving the game right now um that's why the mouse is in, there it goes moves so a couple things we do need to build on this we need to have personnel on board so right now what do we need for support for personnel i think is probably like one and one and this is going to be just a station so there's not going to be needing too much crew on board. Uh, so at least we need to have a crew space for 12 fighters and then the little bit of crew that we're going to need for like engineers and mechanics. So let's try to set it up for, let's see, 12, probably 14, I think, for the crew quarters. Let's go ahead and try to do that. Uh, I'm going to try to set it up for about the same 
lane. So let's see, four minus 21 is 17. 17. So that's still a little bit bigger than what I would, I think I need for it. So let's go ahead and make it a little bit smaller. Let's cut that in half. So that's 12, but uh, I think we already had a bonus of four on board. So I think that should work actually. If not, then I'll make it a little bit bigger and adjust it in the, the insane campaign. So we'll leave it at that. So now that we have, oh wait, no, we can't do this. That's why, because it's only 12 and we're going to need 12 fighters. Never mind. What was I thinking? I need to make it 14, not 12. <laughs> As I was saying it. Uh, let's see. So it's at 2.25. Let's try to make it at 3.5. Okay. Maybe that will be uh, big enough. 15. Okay. Let's. 16. All right. So that's pretty good. And we're still at right now currently uh, 69.3 tons so that's really uh, actually good we're also looking at energy so we're under the megawatt cost too so we technically don't even need to put a generator on it so that's actually pretty nice uh, that's actually better we get two slots that's actually very nice too what I want to do is I need to have at least one slot. I wanted to put uh, the protection for it. So like we when we dive into the events that we needed to protect these. So one or two won't be too bad. Let's see if we have another 128 processing power. Let's see what are we at for processing here, right here. So actually we might want to try to unlock three slots if we can with the size of it especially that we're not even at a kiloton right now so that's actually looking really good uh, but another thing too is as I add other stuff on this it might raise up the crew request amount but I don't think it's gonna be too much so what we could do is use a core computer because they help boost your processing power for pretty light I think Let's see. Okay. So we can put, well, another thing too is I, I know that we're not gonna be putting too much armor on Vald, but I probably wanna put a inertial dampener on board. So let's see how, how much processing power we can get for doing that then. Let's make a small little inertial dampener plate on board, or a, sorry, integrity field generator, my bad that one on board so we're still not there yet but the thing that's nice is it covers it but it's only because I put it so thin it doesn't cover the other side see if I make double it up maybe oh it's so close for processing to uh, jump over to the next for a third slot and we're at two okay so those added some weight on so that's at 2.1 kiloton okay so those are actually adding quite a bit of weight so let's see if we can make it 0.6 so if we add a little bit more wider would be 2.26 versus 2.25 I think that will actually throw it over to the next let's see why is it less Did I accidentally put it on bigger than I thought it was originally? Oh, I must have put it on like 3.5. Well, actually here, let me look at that real quick.
No? Oh, I did. I put it on 3.35. Okay, I didn't adjust it to the 2.5. Okay, so if that was the case, it would go 3.36 wide. Then that should throw us over. Okay, that's what I did. I didn't adjust it to the actual uh, weight or the the size that I thought I did, the uh, 2.25. So that this should throw us over. Oh, it's so close. So close. Um, really, all we had to do is throw a small anything on board. Uh, we could just slap on a little small sliver here. On both sides. There we go. Let's just go ahead and merge those. Okay, so we're at 2.18 kilotons, and we have 12 fighter bays. We should be definitely easily be able to put on the amount of people we need uh, as well. That's looking good. And we could add a fighter squadron. See, we can't use the other one. That gives us three slots, so we can protect it if we have to go deep. Uh, to and also, if we don't need to go so deep, we can maybe put a, like a Hydra on there to help build our, or a couple Hydras on there, like if it's in high space, put a couple Hydras on there to help build our fighters in the area. So that's all good. Um, I like that is very nice. And I like the way, oh, we actually threw over the power grid. So we do need to add some power. Oh, I didn't pay attention to that. So that's unfortunate. We could, let's see, what it, what happens if we do change it out to the core computer, for instance? We're almost to four. Our power actually shot up really, actually those are power hungry little things. Okay. Just trying to see how that works and it wouldn't be protected by the generator that is there we could probably I mean we could change it out to crew quarters for instance uh, we would be underneath the power grid that would be good uh, we could add a cargo bay it'd still be over three power grid drops significantly the weight drops too the only issue is is we don't have a generator to come over here oh that's another thing I need to worry about is having a slot available for flat cargo hold too so then we can make sure that we have cargo hold Oh, but we're going to jump up the generator again, huh? I didn't think about that, too. If we put a Hydra on, how much do those cost? So, I guess there is a lot. Of, there That adds gigawatts of power. Okay, so we do need to put a generator on. Okay. You know, it, I was just trying to, f you know, jump around and see if I did or did not have to add a generator. So if we're depending on what we're gonna do, we're gonna need uh, some kind of generator possibly. So if we wanted to do that, oh, that's three point three nine gigawatts. I don't know if we want to put solar panels on because I do want to use the processing power. So, so we can keep up to three slots. That is significant amount of power upgrade. Uh, we don't need more crew, it looks like. No. Okay. The issue, though, is this is not protected by the the inertial dampener. Hmm. Well, I know what I could do is I could thin this one down and put some on top inertial dampener as well. And maybe actually make the generator a little bit bigger. How thick is the crew quarters? 
3.5. I'm trying to make this a little bit more square is what I'm trying to look at. Uh, so it's easier to dock and undock. So I'm trying to think we need a little bit more generator. Hmm. And I was thinking about maybe lightly arming, arming, armoring it. I'm trying to think. If we make two thin field generators so at least it can maybe take a few hits before it breaks, that might actually work better. And then we could put some generators on the outside to add more po power output. So we could actually, like I said, uh, be able to get to three slots. So let's do that instead. So we're going to delete what we have. No problems. Let's go ahead and turn on our X mirror. So we're going to make a couple, just some small integral field generators. And then we're going to put uh, the rest of it being... Um, the generator to get some more power. All right, so that should cover everything being attached to the it now. I wonder if I should build a generator on top to keep it squared more. Nah, this should be fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a generator and we're going to put it at 3.5 because that's what we do. That should do Okay, it was close, so 3.6, I guess it was the right number. That is fine. There we go. So now we're into four. We got 6.12 gigawatts of power. We're still at the 2.18 kilotons of weight, so it lower than what I was expecting. And I believe we have everything in f the Integer Field Generator. Per or perfect. Even though they're small, they might take one or two shots if they happen to hit so they don't just always break. But again, I don't know if these are going to break right away or not. We don't know until we try. It's just, this is just all theory and I think it's cool to give it a shot. So let's go ahead and make a thin layer of armor around here. And the reason why I'm making a thin one is because again, we're doing it for the weight. but. And actually adding just a little bit more protection, hopefully. That's actually not much weight at all. So maybe we can go to point 0.1. Again, I'm trying to get under 5 kilos. So we could definitely make it lighter. I know that. Okay. So that definitely raised the weight up some. But it's not looking too bad. Let's see if we, what we can do here. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. It's at increasing the HP quite a bit. Another thing I was thinking is we could put a small shield on here too. But I think that's going to affect the personnel a lot more than just... Uh, a little bit of armor. All right. So 3.25 kilotons so far. And we kind of increased the HP quite a bit. Um, let's see if we can rotate. I think we can even attach some armor like such. Come on. Come down. Come down. There we go. Oh, nope. Too big. So let's reduce this down right there oh come on shrink for me there we go I think we could build up a little bit of armor up even to the the white box I did that with the 
Mark III. So that was the last one, but so I could even do something like that if I really wanted to. Just to add a little bit more HP to it, but I think we'll be okay without it. I was just curious. But yeah, so this is going to come along pretty good. I think we can keep this under 3.5k HP. I think that will work out well for us. So let's go ahead and for our 3.5k weight, I mean, sorry, that's what I meant. That will work out pretty, pretty slick, I think. And let's see. Okay, yeah, there's only that one piece because, yep, there we go. There. There, there, there. And a little bit right there. And there and there. Oops, missed that little spot. A little chink in the armor. There we go. Wait. Is that a... Oh, that's just the how the, the armor looks. Okay. So let's go ahead and patch this up and see where we're at for weight. So far, it is definitely coming out better than I was expecting as far as weight-wise. We got pretty decent power. Come on. Rotate. There we go. As well. And. Okay, so actually under 3.3 3. Uh, 3 kilotons of weight. And I'll color this up too and it's a little bit armored it has a little bit more HP granted it's not much but again the primary ship will be the one I'm driving doing the maneuvering and having the fire parts the other one which is the second one will be my shield one and again the shields should be will be hopefully deployed around these to uh, protect them so they shouldn't be taking too many hits but if they do, they have a little bit of armor on board, just in case. Let's get in there. Er. There it goes. So, yeah, th those are pretty neat. Um, I don't know if they're going to work, but I think they have a pretty good shot of working for what I want. And... I'll do the coloring uh, for the video and then basically uh, merging up all the blocks offline. But th I think this is a good end of the video so that basically like the, yeah, I think that's going to be the first design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a new folder. I'm going to call Rift Ship. Rift ship. Okay. And there we go. And we're going to go ahead and save current design. All right. And it's actually really cheap and stuff, too. And ag another reason why I wanted five ships again, I'm going to put five uh, captains of the Zoltan Hunter so we can try to get every mission five and see how it works. So. Actually, you know what? Before I go, I am going to try equipping. Well, I guess we don't even have to. Yeah, we we do have to equip at least one. 
to see how much. Okay, so we can quick equip the cargo hold. Uh, I don't think we have any of the rift rift protection. Okay. You know what I can do real quick? Hold on. I am in the rift area, so let's look at the rift research center real quick. And look at how much power. So, like, if we just put one of these on. Okay, it's 2.25 two gigawatts. So, that's potentially, like, if I put two of these on one of those, that's 18 protection for 5 gigawatts plus the storage if we need storage on board. It, I actually don't think I have enough power then, do I? No, I don't. Okay. So, I take that back. I'm going to have to make it a little bit bigger. I'll do that offline. I'm going to try to aim for, let's see, we need at least five for 18 protection, for instance, and then storage is three. And if we're going to put in a, a Hydra to help build, let's see, look at that real quick. I should have did that in the first place, but you know, yeah, you don't always see it until you, uh, get it and then actually look at trying to plug in everything you know and that's okay you just make adjustments from there and again I was aiming for under 5k of weight and we're at 3.5 so even if we can get it 4 it would be fine so this looks like a gigawatt of power so if we're like changing out these two if we need 5 plus 3 we're looking at maybe 10 10 gigawatts of power should definitely work. So I'll work on that offline. All I'm going to do is I'm probably going to make my uh, gigawatt of power a little bit bigger. So I'm going to make my shield generators a little bit more. And actually while I'm thinking about it, let's see. I was just thinking about that too. Uh, it looks like we're not going to be able to protect our armor on the outside. So I'm going to swap my integrity field generators possibly you know what I'm gonna make another video on this so that's okay um, I'm gonna continue this on the next build I'm going to increase our power to 10 make sure it's covered in integrity field generators just in case it hits and then lightly armor it and I'm gonna try to get it under four kilotons or the generic five I'm just looking at what we have now, so let's try to maybe cut off a kiloton. So, in the end, uh, thank you again for all my subscribers and all the support. I really appreciate it. If you're new here and you'd like to see how these builds go, it, it's free to subscribe. I would really appreciate the support. I'm trying to get to 100. Um, we're almost there. We're shy for. I'd really appreciate it. And everyone have a great day. See you next time.